Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. I'm starting a new cup today. Um, I cut this water slide jumbo. Um, I found this image on Creative Fabrica. I thought it was really cute. Let it be. Um, but the bee, the sunflowers overlaying it have this cute like turquoise accent. So I thought this vinyl would go well with it. Um, so I'm going to do it on this 32 ounce taper because I sized it for that large of a tumbler. So I'm going to put the vinyl on the back half and I may accent it with some gold flakes, gold foil. Um, but I need to make the clear water slides stand out on here. So I'm going to power wash this with some white and some gold. Um, I don't want it to be all gold because I'm not sure it will stand out enough. So I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to, I can't bring you out with me because I'm literally dodging raindrops, but I'm going to shake up my power wash, spray it on, spray my white and my gold over the top and rinse it off immediately. And then I'll come back and once it's dry, I will show you where I'm at. Okay, so this has its power wash done. I'm going to kind of look at the decal on here to see where my placement is going to work best. When I was planning it out outside, I like had it in my head how it was going to go, and then I don't know if I actually got there or not. So I'm thinking about here for this. That's my plan, which means the vinyl is going to go on the back side. And because this is tapered, I just don't know how that works. <laughs> it's, it's a bit much for me to wrap my head around today. So let's see if I can, let's see if I can figure it out. I'm going to hold this in place. I mean, I feel like even though the cup is tapered, I can still run a straight piece of vinyl and just trim it down straight, right? So I think what I ultimately need is a like here to here measurement. So six and a half. Because whatever the top measurement is, is where it's going to be the biggest. But I have a six and a half inch gap between the wings. Because this cup is a little about 12 and a half. So. If I start with my vinyl at six, I should be good. And that should lay flat. I mean, if anything, I think it's going to flare out a little bit this way, which will be okay because the bottom is bigger anyhow, or smaller rather, jeepers. So I'm going to just cut a little neck where I want to trim the vinyl down. Sometimes I can't wrap my head around how something works until I'm like into it and start talking through it. So bear with me. I don't have this epoxied yet, so I really need to like pay attention.
and basically get it as close as I can the first time. So I'm like too far this way. So I think what I'm going to do is let the rest of this side go on. And I think I'm going to stop this side like here. So it'll just be less of the turquoise on the back, which is fine. Because it really didn't have to be like half the cup or anything. And I do think I want to straighten the line up. Okay, I just paused to change my blade. But I think in this case, rather than trying to draw a straight edge with my tape measure, or my ruler, I think I'm going to use a piece of tape. So, I think I'm pretty straight here. And I'm just going to trace the edge. Pull my tape. Yeah, a little sticking point there. There we go. And then I'm just going to put that paper back in there because I don't need all of that sticking down. I'm going to kind of eyeball where the bottom edge would be, and I think I want it about there. So. It's all right. We're going to add some gold leaf that I can cover it. It's all right. It's kind of just a tiny strip, but you know what? It's fine. I'm going to edge trim the top. So before I do my flakes, I'm going to go ahead and put my um, 
I'm actually okay with that because it let a whole lot more of my power wash show. And if somebody did want a name added or something, um, this would be a good spot for it. So I think my little bowl here is a little small for this decal. Oh, that's so cute. So let's look at my spacing. I have about an inch and a half on that side. I think I have a little bit more on this side. A little closer to two, so. If I can get the whole thing to shift just a tiny bit. Okay. We're just going to call it good. Like you do with your water slides, squeegee it out. Gonna blot it. I absolutely love that. So a little water under the end there. So we're going to go ahead and just do a little bit of foil edge just to make it even more extra. Get my arm back on here. So, to do the foil, I'm going to start with my tacket over and over. I've got a brush, and I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit chunkier there. I'm going to cover the whole edge. I'm not going to do the top and bottom. I may bring a few veins out over. Just for a little extra emphasis. So, that'll be one side. I have more tacket than I need. It's going to take a little bit to dry. So I'm going to let this sit for 15, 20 minutes, whatever, till I can't see any more of the white from the heaviest of the tacket. Okay, I am ready to apply the flakes. I still have a couple of like slightly white spots, but it'll be fine. So I just have like a hard stencil brush that typically I can pick up the leafing with.
Okay. So once you have everything basically covered, you can just take that stiff brush and rub it all down. This is that spot that wasn't quite completely dry, so it's not going to look as good. Once that is dry, I will be back for epoxy. Okay, I am ready to get some epoxy on this one. Just gotta find the right turner. I'm gonna grab a glove. I think this is beautiful. I think the epoxy is really gonna liven it up. And I just don't want to add anything else to this. I think it's perfect just the way it is. So. Okay, so here it goes. Yes, from some angles you can see the line down the vinyl. And I'm not terribly concerned with that. It is what it is. Had I epoxied first, it would have disappeared more, but I'm not worried about it. The bottom's just power wash. And there's that. Let it be. So, I absolutely love this. Um, I'm thrilled with it. So, there we go. Thanks for watching.